We're going to Taiwan! To our flight. We're in Taiwan! We're gonna eat. Well, vlogger, vlogger. <laughs> that was such a vlog, you guys. Hey! <laughs> Sounds like a fart. I'm not farting. Yeah, you are. We're getting our baggies. You got it. Money exchange. Must be signed, must be signed. To the MRT station! We just bought our easy cards. This pickable me. Thank, Thank you so much. We are in the Taipei main station, and now the next thing to do is to find the hotel. It smells so good here. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. We're starving. And do not let go of your luggage. We let go, we let go. We made it out. It just went boom. Heat. Barely any wind. Papa Whale! How do you know that's the hotel? There's a big whale. There's a big, big whale. Look at that. Hotel Papa Whale. Men's bathroom. Iron Man. Brown eyed, handsome man. That's where I went. Hello. Finally eating our first meal in Taiwan. Don't know what it's called. There is no name. There is a name. We just can't understand it. Translated the name of the restaurant. Five New Ling fast food restaurant. It's fast food! Gerald said we should get a milk tea every single day. But I'm gonna some something. That's what I did. Stir fresh. Good, a bit salty. And the spaghetti, the semi tomato sauce. <laughs> it is spaghetti, guys. This is kind of like a carinderia style. It's an interesting find. My ribs were so freaking hard to eat though. Joe is using two spoons because they don't have forks. I'm struggling here. You got this, you got this. The price of water goes from around 60 pesos, and there's one that's like 70 pesos, 29 to 35 dollars. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sugar in all trend, you can change it. No, yeah. First milk tea. Oh yeah, that's good. First I can taste the tea. It's pretty good. First milk tea in Taiwan. Is it good? I like that. It's not so sweet, just like the right amount. It's not overpowering between. Oh, connoisseur. <laughs> we can confirm that Taiwan milk tea is quality. Quality. Both of our teas cost $110, 170 pesos. We're just walking around. There's our room, 5046. Oh, hey MTV. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna show you our Papa Whale room. Room tour. You've got a lot of space for hanging, hangers, a safe for your safe stuff. For our what stuff? <laughs> for your safe stuff. <laughs> Chill, study, free water, the menu, of course, my pa milk tea. I love that their phones are like always like this. It's like bringing me back to whatever year these phones were. Fridge. This is the bed. It's about this big of, of me. If I'm like this, the bed's like this big. The most important part. Something we always consider. So there's one side for the shower. Hello. <laughs> wow. Wow. Shampoo and stuff. Even their blow dryer is very... Steampunk. <laughs> Do they have a bidet? No bidet! <sighs> Poops are gonna be rough. For you, for me it's not. But that's why they have. Why? What are you gonna do? Wet my tissue? They have cups. You just... That's disgusting. It's gonna... I'm gonna use that for my brushing teeth. You're not gonna put it in your butthole. It's gonna be next to your butthole. Yeah, just like next to it. <laughs> Still, that's too close to my butthole for me to put it in my mouth. Initial impressions is it looks really cool. And it gives a different vibe from the usual like clean hotels, yung mga ganon. And, and I like that it's a little bit different. The color scheme is not very me, but that's fine, <laughs> I guess. That's, we'll work with it. So thanks for coming to the room. I'm gonna take a nap and watch the rest of the vlog. What about me? Where am I gonna go? Okay guys, so I've okay, been locked out <laughs> and uh, I guess I'm gonna be sleeping out here. And it comes with free breakfast, which is honestly a major selling point for us. Oh no! Okay. 
We're crossing this bridge, which looks actually pretty cool because you can see the road over there. It looks really nice. But also I just looked down and it's freaking scary. We're at the bus stop. The bus numbers are listed there. So you just have to look for the bus that has your number. We just got left by the bus because we had no idea how to go in. It was just like open door, open door, and they were like, oh, 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 oh. we're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. We got, we got on the bus. bus. Chiang Kai shek Memorial Hall. Look, it's so pretty. It's white and purple. It is white and purple. Oh my gosh, I thought it was white and blue. It's one big park. Wow. Imagine having a green space like this in the middle of Manila. Look, it looks so pretty. We're gonna go over there. Like now. So since our trip from Japan, Elijah has been sad that we didn't have a lot of photos together. So we took a photo timer and we just realized we were taking a photo at the side and that's the front. The reason why there was no people is because we were at the side. Cute photo, whatever. You can walk around, you can exercise, you could run and jog. Oh, there's like a playground where you can do pull-ups. There's people over there doing, um, I think they're doing Zumba. Somewhere down there, there's Zumba down there. And there's like multiple temples. There's one right there, and there's a temple right there, and there's a Joe right there. I'm not here all the time though. Yeah. Here's a temple, and there's a temple, and here's a temple, and there's a temple. They're twins. <laughs> oh wow, they have the whole. They have a swimming. Oh, I was like, that's, a swimming pool. that's definitely not a swimming pool. Cactus kiwi lotus thingy. How is it? It's okay. This is like, better. Dang it. Of course it's better. It's strawberry milk. It kind of has like a dragon fruit taste, not really a raspberry taste. It's good though. I like it. You want to switch if you want to switch? No, it's okay. I made my choice. Mm. We're so tired. Train, but they... There's so many things. We are so overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. <laughs> Let's keep going. I've tasted something like this before from the Philippines. At a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, salty leaf. Time for some corn. As a corny. We're eating on a corny. It's not a corny. Oh, it's not a corny? Mm -hmm. How's it taste? I'm not a fan of like the meat, the, the spice. My favorite. With a hint of sweetness, but I'm not a fan of it. He likes it. I probably spend the money that I want. No, I think it's cumin. That's yeah, it. I don't like cumin. We asked for custard and he gave us chocolate. Custard and chocolate. Yeah, it's a mix. Oh, it's good. I would like the full custard though, but it's still pretty good. I like the mistake. Now this I want. I love winter melon. Oh yeah. Uh, mint or well and so good. Winter melon. Too hot. Yeah. Not super intense flavor. Candied cherry tomato. Tang hulu. Told you you're not gonna like it. <laughs> not Bag. Joe saying not bad is her saying I'll never taste it again. <laughs> Joe told me to get this one. Joe, you. We have gone through most of the market. We've bought in a few food and there's so much more that we want to try. Yeah, there's like at least four or five more things we want to try but we're just too full. We're so full. I because... think what we did wrong was each had her own drink and we got another drink. We loaded up too much on the teas, the iced teas because we were so thirsty. So tip is make sure you're well hydrated throughout the day so you can make room for this food. We're gonna go to another one. They have chicken nuggets on the stick. See, there's so many things. Too much food, too little space. Legs could not take it, it started to rain, so we took a taxi back to the hotel. And it wasn't too bad, it was only 110 for both of us. This is the aftermath. Tomorrow is going to be tour day, so we gotta rest up for that. 18,000 steps today. My legs need a break. So let's rest up for that. Good morning, it's day two, tour day. We had our breakfast buffet at the hotel. There's so many options, it's so cool. And they have a lot of veg choices too. A sandwich, which as a picky eater, is probably gonna be my go-to. Breakfast noodles, and some milk tea. How's your breakfast? I'm savoring it. It's 
It's really good. It's really good. Very um, solid the breakfast. And since it's tour day, the meetup was at the Taipei main station. So from our hotel, we walked to the bus station, rode the bus to one stop, and then walked a few minutes to the Taipei main station. It's like we're at Central Station in New York. So what do you think? Wow. Where are we? Where are we? Taipei main station. Not the, the going around in circles, like spinning around with your arms. Meetup is still at 9.15, so... We have about 25 minutes to wait. Go to the Ghibli, do the uh, what do you call it? Spirited Away place. A chiffin water. <laughs> wow, I'm so lucky to find this. Wow. Okay, we're going to the hanging bridge. I'll wait for the bed, so you go first. 11 on the bus. Okay, sounds good. I like your urine. by the waterfall. We got some matcha ice cream. I'm gonna eat it now. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Hot day. And we're in the lantern room. Okay, you're yours. This is the barbecue with a sticky rice inside. Apparently very popular here. Like a hot dog. Good? Mm. Oh. Our tour guide said that if we don't like this, he'll refund us. We won't get a refund then. So good. A bit sour. Ice cream in a lumpia. Ooh. A peanut. I like the peanut. Oh, I like that. It really tastes like a cold lumpia because of the cilantro. Lumpia ang sariwa na malamig. Ganon. <laughs> a beer. First Chao Long Bao! So oh, hot! Because you're supposed to... Good! Mm. Oh good! Oh hot! So good, no? So good. The stinky tofu! It's not like super stinky, na man. But when they're cooking it, it's stinky. It smells more like garlic. Stinky. Oh my god! Smell the actual tofu. Oh. I don't know, to me it just smells like tofu. And for me, tofu is stinky. It's pretty good. It's good? It's nothing special. For me, it doesn't. It's it? like tofu to me. I don't like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. wait. Mm. Yes, this one we have already. Somebody ordered. Oh. But person okay. not yet here. Oh. If you want it now, we will give you. Big watermelons. Huge watermelon. Fresh watermelon juice. That's so good. How to for delicious. Mm. Good na ako, yeah. We are in Jiufen, climbing the 300 steps. There's a lot of shops and food. So what did you think about it? It's good, I like this. I like it. Good. I like the soup of this. And we're back from the tour. We all 
also got some bows on the way home. This is a custard steamed bun. Is it a bow? It is a bow. Our tour was so much fun because our tour guide was so funny. You could really see how passionate he was in his job. That was Mick Wang. Mick, Mickey, if somehow you are watching this, thank you for being the best tour guide. Guys, go to a book clue. I don't know. Hopefully you'll get him as your tour guide. But now we're gonna rest and eat our... Custard buns. Needs more filling, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Look. So now we're just gonna chill until dinner because we are tired. So what is it? Do you know what it is? It's hot. Here's our dumpling. So hot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You better blow on that. Today is definitely dumpling day. Really good. It tastes really like fresh in a way. I don't want to see like a cleaner taste, but that's what it is. <laughs> we also saw a mini performance a while ago. No idea what group they were. Oh, it's hot. It's good. It's like very mild. Very simple. We climbed 37 flights today. Is everything here a shaolong bun? <laughs> and now you've just been eating pork because you don't have chicken. We are so full. We were looking back at all of the stuff that we've eaten today. And we didn't really eat that much. I think it's all the liquids that we drank. We drank a lot of water, milk tea, a lemonade. But yeah. it's not as much as yesterday. I'm liquid. not as uncomfy as yesterday. I'm pretty uncomfy. Still so much food we keep seeing and wanting to try. Gah! Not enough stomach for this. But fluffy. Come on, I want to try too. No more for you. I like the waffles. Ending day two with 16,000 steps, tired feet, full stomach. Tomorrow is Din Tai Fung Day, so I'm very excited. Let's go. I need a new transition. Let's go. Good morning. It is day three, and as you can see, it's dumpling day. We're just having our breakfast at our hotel, and it's the same food as yesterday, so just repeating the ones that I really enjoyed. Ooh, this green tea. It's matcha. Was your sleep comfortable last night? Better than the first night? But it was so so cold. Yeah. Let me get up a little bit. Okay, let's put it at 24 high. Today's goal is to go to in Taifang. Time to ride the train! Oh wow, it's cold. I think this is like rentable umbrellas. Cool! Guys, we made it to another area. That's Taipei 101. Ah! It's so tall. This is me looking at the top of it right now. It's there, look how tall it is. Ah. We're almost as tall as it. And now it's short. But little bit like less flavorful it's like a lot more mild but it tastes so good and fresh oh that's better I actually never tried the pork one in the Philippines it's more flavorful wow it's so good mm. not for me Ooh, it's so good and so hot so so hot but so good it's like a salted egg custard so it's a little bit savory but also really good I'm just alternating buns until I decide which one I want to end with. So we just finished our lunch at Din Tai Fung, which of course, for the experience. And we will try a lot more other local ones in a bit. But now, we're gonna head to the observatory. Ooh, this is a really cute little painting of Taipei. We took the elevator from the 5th floor all the way to the 89th floor and it was like 15 seconds up. That was insane. Kind of still feel like I'm in the 
elevator right now. Check out the view. Oh my gosh. I thought that was somebody. <laughs> that was just me. But we're on top of Taipei 101. Well, 91st floor. 91st floor. Okay, they're going to look like 45 seconds to get down fast. High speed train, high speed Here's elevator. We got these. I have a red bean one. And I have a custard one. Cheers. Cheers. They're super filled. Oh. Touch it. Oh, I burnt my tongue. Our fourth milk tea from Hit the Pits or Hit the Spot? Hit the Spot. It's just a light milk and a nice little sweet boba, but it's not too like. Ugh. It's pretty good. Oh, I like this one. It's not sweet. I like this. Where are we, Elijah? Dao Dao Chang. It's like a Manila Bay-ish. There's a lot of like food trucks over there. I can just walk through the whole area. area. The coast. Bay coast. And you can see the view of like highways, rivers, and all those things. She is very, very tired. This one is the beef and cheese. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's interesting. It's like pancit canton wrapped with a quesadilla. Guapao. Yeah. It tastes similar to the one that we get in the seed core market. Salty, oceany, sea-like because of the seaweed. And the soft bun. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, oh, oh. Shit. Shoot, sorry, the cheese is falling off. Okay. There's like an omelette. A reverse omelette? Yeah. Mmm, that's good. The yeah. best thing about the Ning Shan Night Market is their seats. Oh, so good. We got this milky donut from the side. I didn't get to video it because we're so tired, but wow, this is so good. Mmm, it's like an elevated bicho bicho. <laughs> Day three wrap up. It was a long long day cannot walk anymore legs hurt so tired you just have those days when you're traveling but we are tapping out at 20,000 step but a lot of really good food and we have one day left in taipei so let's do it same breakfast as usual we're a tad bit late so tired from last night that's okay long day i have last day in taipei Taipei Botanical Garden. We got a map to help us through. How are you today? I'm good. Nice, they have a water fountain. Most of the other areas don't have much bloom, flowers, all of those things, but here, this is the lotus pond. And I have a lotus colored top. So I'm very in with the whole image. The lotus pond looks so nice, guys. So nice. This is the greenhouse, but it's not green. It is steel. put more sugar in this one. Still good though. A refreshing take on the milk tea. I like the boba. Very chewy and soft. Softer than the most of the bobas we had. This is the Longshan Temple. The Bopiliao Historical Block. Double chocolate macaron ganache, strawberry raspberry macaron. We are climbing up the rainbow 
bridge. Okay guys, if you are gonna go to the rainbow bridge and you expect it to be a whole bridge that is a rainbow color, it is not. It is orange, purple, yellow, blue, bridges together that make a rainbow. 20 minutes before the night market opens. Yay! I feel like it's already open, no? We're at the Rauha night market. So the fun fact about this night market is that it's considered the most popular night market in Taipei. Let's go in. Let's go. We were here so early because this person didn't want to stay on the bridge. <laughs> Elijah, that's you. You're the one oh, that's me? <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was the vlogger today, so. Crispy donut with cheese. Croissant times a pan de sal. So fluffy? Yes, fluffy. Croissant, yeah. Cheese bread, yeah. It's okay. Mochi-ish, but they like potato. That's a fun snack. I actually like it better than the cheese donut. Oh yeah, but they're different. They're different. It's really good. It's crunchy too. Like it? This is giving me very paletao vibes, so it's mochi. Peanut paletao. So far the only night market that had accessible trash cans, so. This is like the one we had at uh, Shifen. Shifen? The barbecue one with the rice inside, but this is like a fried chicken. Wow, it's fried chicken but with rice inside. A great for on the go. <laughs> go where? What's my favorite? Dumplings? Sticky rice filled chicken. That was I mean, so Oh wait, sticky rice filled <laughs> dumplings. Uh, uh, chicken. Sour contrast with the sweet sugar is really good. Japan or Taiwan? I'm gonna have to say this one. Wow! This one just because the contrast of the sour and sweet makes you like want more. You see? Yeah. You got it? We lined up for the Michelin rated bun. The line was kind of long but it went really fast because they're very, they got like so much system already. They're just like boom, 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 boom. Good. Flavorful. It's very meaty. Really good. Very flavorful. It reminds me of a big dumpling. Hello, niece and nephew. Just kidding. But I like the strawberry better because the grape is sweet. Yeah. So it just makes it too sweet overall. Uh, really good though. We are at a supermarket-ish. Big. It looks like a small supermarket, but let's look at what they have. We were looking for a supermarket to buy some vegan snacks for buy. And the first supermarket that was close by that Elijah searched was Noemi, which is apparently a vegan vegetarian supermarket. So there are so many options from jerky to noodles to like vegetarian floss. Nice, looks so good. Stop by first at Ching Fu Tang, which is supposed to be Taiwan number one. Apparently there's too much wrap overall. Like the wrap is thicker. It still tastes really good. It's just there's a lot of the, the dough. I think this beats Din Tai Fung in terms of the taste of the meat and the amount of soup is inside but the wrapper kind of ruins it they're tied in terms of quality so this is around 100 NTD for 6 pieces in Din Tai Fung it is 250 for uh, 12 pieces um, although I don't think it's like such a major leap in terms of pricing we got our last milk tea for the road and I have never been more disappointed this is the Kambai milk tea which we've come by we passed by it a few times finally bought it and um, not a fan it says come by but I'll never come back there's also not just pearls there's like there's these long thingies I don't know what it is it kind of feels odd. It's like string jelly yeah Sweet. tapping off the day with 15,000 steps 9.9 .9 kilometers walked ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got a pretty early flight tomorrow, so we gotta pack everything up now and head to bed. Let's do it! The video's over, but that doesn't mean you have to go. You can still subscribe or watch another video. Thanks for watching!